Hello to all MMA fans. Alexandra Abramova, the host of the Sport Life Show on the MMA-TV.com TV channel, is here with you. On October 30th in Moscow, the next Guerrilla MMA Series 43 Moscow Calling Tournament was held. The main confrontation of the evening was the battle of two heroes, whose total weight was 231 kilograms, and their total height was almost 4 meters. Alek Babov entered the contender fight for the silver bout of Guerrilla MMA series against Alejandro Goliath Salorzano. Popov's confident attitude was visible from the very beginning of the fight. The Atlas bet only a few seconds of the first round in the stand-up. Then the Russian fighter knocked the Mexican down and quickly moved to the mount position. Alex skillfully controlled the situation in the stalls, delivering powerful blows one after another. That's how the whole first round went. In the second round, the plot developed according to the identical scenario. Popov slowly and confidently finished off his opponent on canvas, and Alejandro only was to cover his hat. The injuries prevented Goliath Salorzana from reaching the third round. The judges recorded Alek Popov's fifth consecutive victory in the Guerrilla MMA series, which earned him the status of the silver belt holder. Now Popov's record is 14 wins with one defeat. Recall that at the 33rd Super Tournament in Barbija, the fighter took the bronze belt of the Guerrilla MMA series. Following the results of the last event, Alek Popov becomes the first and only owner of two titles in the history of our series. I thought there will be a third round, and that this fight will be decided by either technical knockout or a knockout, or at the end of the fight, and no so that the opponent refused to continue. i never seen this before. Fight is a fight. It must pass completely or end with somewhat, but never because of any injury or because of unwillingness to fight. In the coming fight of the evening, Sergei Babrushev fought an experienced and very hardy opponent from Kazakhstan, Pouruzhan Konishbaev. It was a broad but quite intense battle, the outcome of which was impossible to predict. Russian McGregor from Muram Sergei Babrushev was ready to go all the way against Borzhanko Nishbaev. The first two rounds were hot in a viscous confrontation, but Babrushev gradually gained an advantage in points. In the last five minutes, the fighter from Muram began to provoke the opponent with gestures and facial expressions as if challenging him and eventually managed to inflict several effective actions. During the entire fight, Babrushev gave the rival 187 blows, 82 of which hit the target. As a result, by a unanimous decision of the judges, Sergei won a labor victory. It should be noted that Babrushev prepared for the tournament in Krasnodar in the Kuzna team. During the training process, such fighters as Alek Popov, Viktor Kolesnik, Yakov Ikimov, and Ilya Fremenov were Babrushev's sparing partners. After the 43rd tournament, Sergei Babrushev's record in the series is 5 wins with 2 losses, and his overall record is now 12-2. I'm not really satisfied with my fight. I prepared better. But that is clear that in the preparations you show yourself very cool, even with professionals from other leagues. We train in the Kuzna club. I fought or rather stood in sparring with good experienced guys. Stiffness and composure. So I gained new qualities. I began to show my things less, because such rivals as I just had now, my things do badly with them. But I still try to work in my own way because it's me, Sergei Bobrushev. On the way to the main battles, we were waiting for the fights with the participation of debutants, and they were worth paying attention to. In the women's fight of the evening, the debutant of the tournament, 22 years old Marita Tashpolotova from Kyrgyzstan, and young Diana Vorobyova, for whom it was the third fight in her career and the second in the Guerrilla MMA series, fought. In her debut match at the 33rd tournament in Barbija, Diana conceded victory to Victoria Sklarova. Despite the defeat, this girl declared herself as a fighter with a very serious attitude. The outcome of the current match was decided in the first round. 
Diana inflicted a powerful blow, knocking her opponent to the canvas. Having moved to the mount position, Barabiova began to finish her up. The referee had to stop the fight, and the judges recorded the victory of the Russian athlete at the second minute of the first round. Diana's record now is 2-1 in MMA and 1-1 in the series. First of all, these are insanely vivid impressions. I don't know how to describe it. It's impossible to describe. Honestly, I went to the bottle, I was already mentally, physically ready and was sure that the victory will be mine. Today is a coach day, and I give this victory to the coach. This is his victory. I promise myself. I did. We will also not out the fight with the participation of the veteran of our tournaments, the representative of the team Sparta and root boxing Ilya Varvarsky, who held his sixth match in the series. His opponent was Vyacheslav Giraskin, who got the victory at the 32nd tournament. The battle of Varvarsky and Giraskin became a confrontation between two brightly expressed strikers. The fight lasted three full rounds. Statistics show 211 punches thrown by the blue corner fighter, 105 of which hit the target. As a result, by unanimous decision of the judges, the victory was awarded to Ilya Varvarsky. This is the third victory of the fighter in the Gorilla MMA series. Partly satisfied. I could have done better. There were some moments for early combustion, but I missed them a bit. Somewhere I saved my strength on purpose. Well, there is still a lot of work to be done. The results of the rest fights of the evening you can see on your TV screens. Shamil Abdulhalikov confidently defeated Ilkin Shikirilev from Azerbaijan with a chokehold in the first round. He scored his second win in the series and the 14th in his career. Ivan Parshikov defeated Norsultan Turduyev from Kyrgyzstan with a chokehold in the first round. The third victory in the series for Parshikov and the sixth in MMA. Bigzal Mahan from Kazakhstan takes the victory in the fight against Boat Musayev from Azerbaijan by technical knockout at the end of the first round. It was Bigzal's debut fight in the series and the tenth victory in his career. Vadim Nidostov defeated Amajona Tajona from Uzbekistan with a chokehold in the first round. This is the third victory of Nidostov in the series and 16th in his career. I feel very good. I was preparing energized. Drank a stream of beaver, a folk remedy for immunity. Therefore, in principle, I did not even breathe. I felt a little, but normally it will be enough for the second and third round. I set myself a goal in general, in principle, not to fight in Portier. And so we went to the ground, but I somehow don't remember who went to the ground, he or I, but if we already ended up in the ground, then we need to complete it ahead of schedule. But my knees and elbows also worked well this time, in principle what I did in my gym. I put my knees on and on, and they in principle gave the result. While we were watching the Grand S Tournament Gorilla MMA Series 43 Moscow Calling, another landmark event in the world of MMA took place in Abu Dhabi, UFC 267. Several famous Russian fighters took part in it at once, Peter Yan, Alexander Volkov and Islam Mahachev. In the Komi fight of the evening, Peter Yan became a champion of the bantamweight category. Islam Mahachev defeated Dan Hooker with a painful reception in the first round. Magomed Ankalaev defeated Volkan Ozdemir by unanimous decision. Magomed Ankalaev defeated Volkan Ozdemir by unanimous decision. In the undercard of the tournament, Zubair Tuhugov defeated Ricardo Ramos falling after three full rounds by. The legendary fighter of the M1 Global League, Alexander Volkov, closed the defeat from Cyril Gan, defeating Marcin Tupura by a judicial decision. That's how intense and interesting the past week turned out to be for all MMA fans. And already on November 13th, we are waiting for the 44th Gorilla MMA Series tournament in which Sergei Dyakonov will fight for the bronze belt in the heavyweight division against Natalie Siofilia. And in the main fight of the evening, Alexander Durmanov and Manderley Mexican Jr. will compete for the silver belt. Watch the TV channel MMA-TV.com, follow our events, do sports and be healthy.